In this video, I want to show you how gamers can rest their forearms on the table without risking to increase the strain in the neck and in the forearms. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, ergonomist, posture therapist, author of the Posture Manual and creator of the Posture Academy. The reason for this video is the fact that many gamers have written to me after they discovered the video in which I said that you shouldn't rest your forearms neither on the table nor on the armrests when you uh, work in an office. The reason why I was saying this is that, you know, the further my keyboard will be and hence the more forearm support I will have on the desk, the more I'll be leaning forward whereas my screen is up there. So you see, there will be this correction of the line of sight. That's point number one. Point number two is the more I lean my forearms on something with a desk or armrest, the bigger the chance that I go like this, i.e. I carry my upper body weight on my arms and this contracts the upper trapezius. And number three, the more friction there is here, the more the elbow um, is unable to move. And therefore, the wrist will have to do its normal job, but it will also have to compensate for the lack of elbow mobility. And these type of movements create wrist tendonitis. There's actually one additional thing, which is that when you hear, if your desk is too high, the higher your desk, the more you will spread your elbows to the side, and that will lead to neck and shoulder strain. So these are the problems related to resting the forearms on the desk. Now I can hear the argument, which I hear a lot in the precision industry, that you know by having my forearms on the surface are more precise, i.e. the fine movements are easier. And this is absolutely correct. As you can see in this video in which I adjust um, the armrests for the watchmaking industry, I also sometimes recommend to have a support here, but there are conditions for this. Number one, the sh support should be adjusted to your forearms when your shoulders are relaxed, not when they are here. So if you want to rest your forearm on the table, you should really make sure that the table is exactly at elbow level. Number two, you should make sure that your forearms carry only their own weight and not the upper body weight, i.e., you know, my forearms just carry their weight, not here. And to just carry their weight, what do I need? I need two things. I need a proper lumbar support because without lumbar support, I'm going to go like this. And that is already strained here. The number two thing that I need is sufficient tonus in the mid back muscles because without that tonus, you see, this is now happening. I can have a lumbar support, but mid back, which is not tonic enough. And again, I'm straining my neck. So this is the second condition, proper lumbar support, sufficient mid-back tonus. If you want to reinforce it, I link a video in the description. Number three, once you're there, well, you should be aware that the more friction under the forearm, the, yeah, the less you can move the elbow. Therefore, my recommendation is that, you know, you have the desk from here to here, but you try to not be fully on your desk. The more fo forward you are, the more you will be round-shouldered. So try to have uh, the desk stopping around this level, right? And the test is that whilst you move your keyboard, your mouse, your arms, the shoulder and the elbow should be moving as well. As soon as they start not moving anymore, it means that you have already started to put your upper body weight on your forearms and that is the first step to massive trouble.